Hi, my name is Adrian Sampson from the University of Washington, and I want to talk today about an aspect of approximate computing that we typically take for granted. As background, in approximate computing, we try to trade off between the quality of a computation and its resource consumption. And we observe that the balance in today's system is skewed far to one side. We prioritize the quality over all of the resource con con consumption used by a program. And we, we observe that it's, this doesn't have to be this way. We can strike a better balance between quality and resources by approximating how applications work. This is a really exciting direction, but it has one fundamental problem that we don't discuss too much, which is that one side of this equation is a lot easier to measure than the other. We know how to measure how much time an application uses. We know how to measure energy consumption. What is much less clear is, is what quality means for each individual application we might approximate. It's the, the notion of quality is much fuzzier than the traditional metrics that we're used to considering in computer science. To make this a little bit clearer, I think we, we as a community should start dividing approximate applications along the lines of what types of quality metrics they permit. In the first category, there are applications that have an intrinsic notion of quality that already comes with, it, with them. These are applications that tend to already be approximate because there is no feasible precise solution. These are amenable to approximate computing, especially so because the, their quality is so easy to, to measure. One example is robotics. You can ask a fundamental question, how well does, it, does a, a robotic navigation algorithm cause the robot to reach its destination? The same is true of something like a physical simulation. You might ask how well does that simulation match the actual physical reality? How well does a weather predictor match the weather that actually happens, for example? There's another category, though, that doesn't have this sort of intrinsic notion of quality already. And that's where some of the most exciting applications of approximate computing will come. Things where you might ask, does the music sound good? Or you might ask, does the picture look clear? Is the game fun? These applications have quality that isn't so easy to measure, that, that doesn't come immediately with the problem domain. And for that reason, that the quality metrics that have to go with these programs need to be contextual. They need to take into account what humans actually think of the, pro of the, of the output of, of each program. And that means that we need new ways to think about quality in these programs. We need to construct novel quality metrics for each application. In particular, we might even need to think about quality metrics per deployment of that application to be sensitive to the particular users that are going to be observing the output and might have different opinions about what it means to have high quality in that setting. This is so critical for approximate computing research because quality metrics are intrinsic in the way that we do research about approximation. If I were to start writing a new approximate computing paper, I usually start by saying that we're going to take a program um, given by the programmer along with a quality metric that tells us how well that, that program is doing and we're going to produce a better program and we can plot the trade-off between the resources and the quality metric that given to us by the programmer. But it's not entirely clear that programmers even know how to provide this quality metric that's a fundamental input to the approximation technique we want to use. And this, is, this, is, this seems hard to me, uh, asking programmers to provide quality metrics, because it's strictly a generalization of an already existing hard problem, which is providing specifications for applications, even in a discrete sense. When you, when there's an analogy here to traditional program correctness tools where we ask programmers to provide some notion of what it means for the application to be correct, and then we can debug the program uh, along the lines of that specification. In the quality metric world, in the approximate computing world, the quality metric is like a specification that has to be continuous from zero to one. We don't just want to know whether a program is correct or incorrect, we want a continuous notion of how correct it is. And the fact is that in the world, People don't tend to write down specifications of correctness, even after decades and decades of asking programmers to provide this to help assess program uh, application quality. There's billions of lines of code out there that are completely unspecified. And asking for a quality metric, a continuous quality metric, is strictly harder than that. We have our work cut out for us in asking programmers to write down quality metrics. I don't know what the answer to this, but I know that this gap is important. The fact that we need quality metrics, but programmers aren't willing to provide them. One of the directions that I'm working on now is to, to think about this problem in the context of asking real humans what they think about outputs, to use that as a quality metric. So I'm, th I'm thinking about ways that we can use crowdsourcing tools like Mechanical Turk to ask real people about the quality of out out application output to get a better idea of what contextual quality metrics might look like. Thanks very much.